Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you are not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Huh? Well, sadly, it's their job. Well, job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooked up. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, huh? don't oh, worry. Uh, I believe you. <coughs> Will you take me uh, with you when you find the clean place outside? Place. How many kids are there <coughs> in this In the old metro, who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? Oh, You're lucky if you make it halfway Stop there. No other into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Is that supposed to make him better? Please, leave my son alone. That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep getting larger, stronger, and smarter by the day. Sooner or later, they will crush us. I love the order. And now nobody gets to decide for me. Ask for our young. Enough. Our kids is our Like a broken record. Had the guys not made it in time, you'd be a widow now. Stop it! No, you stop it. There's a comfortable flat waiting for you to enforce. A far cry from this hole you can get to be living in. Exactly that. And it's time you stop thinking only about yourself. You know how short we are, sir. Best friend, I told you. With your experience, you two must teach the recruits. You can save lots of lives that way. I'm so tired of explaining this to you. Dad, I won't come back without that young. And he... Anna, this is madness. Yes, I know it is. Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider even for one second that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life. To raise our children outside with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more with Artyom. I must say, though, that even if he did hear some signal that's not necessarily a good thing, we'll talk about it later, though. Not any pocket space. Deal. 